was yeah, here yeah, to call this game. Right about that, Mike. The great voice of the Lakers. We are underway in the Kobe farewell game. Again, Utah was eliminated about 20 minutes or so before tip by virtue of a Houston win over Sacramento. The Jazz at 40 and 41 cannot make the playoffs. Gordon Hayward, their best player, misses. And here come the Lakers back the other way with Julius Randle. Now, during the season, Utah won three games. They were 3-0 and with the Lakers. They control the lowest in the league. But they run their patterns. They run a cloud of clock. But they must shoot a high percentage. Kobe. First one is short. Bryant took 28 shots against Boston a couple of weeks ago. 22 against Houston on Sunday. This is Rodney Hood who torched the Lakers for 30 first half points in one of those games Hubie was talking about on March 28th. Well, when you watch Utah, they are the youngest team in the league in regards to service and then also in age. But they have a lot of talent here and they're playing tonight without their two center, the center and their power forward. Favors and Gobert, their two best rebounders and scorers. That's why Jeff Withy is starting and he scored the first basket. Ray Lyles guarding Kobe. Shot two is long. Shot one was short. Uh, to Hubie's point, Rudy Gobert, the starting center, the terrific shot blocker, yes. third in the league from France. He rolled his right ankle in that Dallas game, that must-win game for Utah on Monday. So he is out. Now we mentioned Derek Favors out as well. Kobe slaps it, and it's out about year in the year. Gobert at seven foot two with a major wingspan, not only with the shot blocking, but the rebounding. He is right at the top of the league. He's in the top five guys in both categories. Rolling to the basket is Roy Hibbert. Steps back over Withy. Shot is short. And Jeff Withy, third year out of Kansas, played four years at KU, was a record setting shot blocker in the conference and in Lawrence. And he jumps into the starting lineup for the 10th time tonight because of the Gobert injury. Hibbert slaps that one away, and it goes terrible season. The worst season in Lakers history. And they break the record for the worst winning percentage that they set last year. Mack throws it off the window, and the Jazz lead 4-0. Now, Mack was picked up in a trade in February with Atlanta. It was a three-team trade. And it is, he has been an excellent addition. He's averaging right around 13 points a game and doing an excellent job leading this half-court offense. It was off the hands of D'Angelo Russell. Mike, you know, with that Lakers situation, over the last three years, they've won 27-21 and only 16 this year. Where are they going? Now, they have some young pieces here right now, but when you look at it, they're 30th in scoring, they're 30th in field goal, 30th in three-point shooting, and 30th in assists. So now you, you can't get any worse than that, and yet you have a young team with a lot of young legs so where are they going here? That's the big question mark for the entire city. Bryant showing young legs as he got to the basket, but Kobe couldn't finish, and he's 0 for 3 in this farewell game. Back, got in the lane, short, thrown nice. down by Rodney Hood. Second year out of Duke, shown this year at nearly 15 points a game that he's going to be around for a while. Well, I, we really like it. Uh, a few Mondays ago, we had them at home versus Cleveland. He had 28 points. He is a big three-point shooter and that a left-hander who has a sensational mid-range game at six foot eight. Double comes on Julius Randle and D'Angelo Russell. He's had a very good three-point shooting season for a rookie. Missed that one. Utah on the fly. Hayward finds nice. Lyles inside. It was slapped away and settles in the hands of Mack. Boy, how does Hibbert not get that? Hayward just snuck in and took it away. Are we to believe that the pressure of the night <laughs> I mean, no. is causing all of this? No. This is, <laughs> you gave the numbers before. It, it, it's about as ugly a set of offensive stats as you could find for the Lakers this year. The fans cheering, trying to urge that first Bryant basket in, hoping he gets going. And he's 0 for 4. Well, I like what he's done. I mean, he's been down inside the paint. He's been in there twice and had pre two pretty good looks. But I don't know why Utah is shooting early and taking a lot of jump shots. I can't figure that out yet. That is not what they do normally. No. Jordan Clarkson and the Lakers have now gone 435 without a point. 
Now, this is that they normally do. If they don't have the break, they set up and they'll run their half guard stuff. The teams have combined for three of 18. Russell nice. finds Hibbert, and the Lakers on the board after nearly five minutes. Well, that's what they would like to see more from Russell, more in, involved in chemistry and especially in transition. Open it up and let the big guys run without the ball once they receive the double team. Make the pass. Clarkson knocks it out of bounds. Now this is just a nice move by Russell. Look to the right of your screen, and you're going to see once that man comes over to double team, get to the front of the rim if you're the big man. Just make the catch and go strong to the rim. Hubie gave you the Laker win totals the last three seasons. You add them together, they are still eight shy of what Golden State has done this year. The Warriors trying to set history over on ESPN, trying to get a 73rd win on the season as they take on Memphis. So you can toggle back and forth tonight. Bryant has it knocked away, and back the other way comes oh, Lyles. Nice Hood couldn't get it, and both teams uh, not with the edge right now. No. You can see they've, they've had at least four fast break opportunities, and they have not scored yet. But that pass was a little bit behind Hood. Jordan Clarkson, who backed up a good rookie season with a solid campaign this year. Lakers feel this is one of the young building blocks they have. Trying to throw it down on Withy. Hibbert on the follow makes it 6-4. Well, you can see Clarkson has a ton of talent at 6'4". He's an excellent point guard. And then the fact that he... And Gianna here tonight to watch Kobe's final game among the other VIPs, dignitaries. Tickets on some of the secondary markets going for over $2,000. I don't think they thought they were going to see five of 23 shooting combined <laughs> between the two teams to start. He'll be off on that. He's 0-4-5 to begin this one. Well, he's had very good looks. He, that's his look. And that's where he's been scoring this year. Oh, turn back the clock there to block Trevor Booker. And desperate to get to the basket and score. And he does. There you go. Well, I like the fact that he has the energy. He has the energy right now. That's the third time that he's broken down the defense to get to the rim. Trevor Booker comes in off the Utah bench, gives them energy. Raul Neto, the 24-year-old Brazilian rookie, is the backup point guard. With the inside. And he's fouled. Back to Kablak and the basket. Now down here, you're going to see the nice reaction. You know, back in the day when he was a defender, let's face it, he was 12 times all defense, nine times on the first team. Now, you like the reaction here because he gets double teamed and he was pressured, but he sends a rainbow up there and drops through. Jeff with you will get one more free throw here. NBA TV during the week. QB and I anxiously await the email to find out where we're flying. Kobe. Nice. Number two. Well, they're playing to him. There's no doubt about it. Everything is a setup. And I like that he came out to the middle of the floor to run that pick and roll. Because they're going to play it soft. They play it soft. He has an open shot. Here's Neto. Rebounded by Larry Nance Jr. He's had a good rookie season for the Lakers. Yeah, they like his talent. He's got a lot of bounce, a lot of energy. Every night he gives them a strong move. Kobe to the basket. Oh, pretty. And one. Now there's, here's your pick and roll. All right, now was a pick and step back. You're going to play soft. I'm going to get that jumper. Now this is just Kobe at his best. He knew that there was a potential shot block. Watch him come underneath so that the defender cannot go for the block shot. Great move. Now remember, he's one of the all-time. Now we're talking almost 70 years of NBA basketball street shooters that we have in the history of this game. Bryant, three in a row in 58 seconds. I'm sure you'll hear the MVP chant a time or two when he comes to the line, the 2008 MVP, twice the finals MVP. Jeff Withy throws it down, having a nice start to the game. Five points for Withy above his season average already. Angelo Russell. With the miss, Neto on it for the Jacks. Transition, Booker to the basket, oh, nice finish. 
over Tarek Black, who had just checked in a moment ago. Yeah, now Booker is one of these energy guys, comes off the bench, 6'7, six, 6'8. Six, but he he give you 20 minutes and it, but he's gonna point, he's gonna get the points, he's gonna rebound, he's gonna block shots, and he's what they call a 50-50 guy, getting everything that's loose. Kobe. Oh boy. Gets a two. Oh boy. Four in a row for Bryant after missing his first five. Joe Ingles, the second year Aussie, 29 years old, knocks down the three. Look at Kobe. Give me the ball. Feeling it. Firing. Oh, got him all. This is like old times now. I mean, are they up? And it's, this is what they came for. Rodney Hood. Huertas. Done a nice job as a backup point guard for the Lakers. Bryant, deep oh. three. Oh. <laughs> With the fighting for it, fouled by Tarek Listen, Black. Thank you for the distance and the degree of difficulty where he shot it from. He might not score 50. He <laughs> might shoot 50 times. <laughs> 11 shots so far in the first nine and a half. Kobe hit five in a row and got him going at Staples. With one team, no one has played more years in the NBA than Kobe Bryant's 20 with the Lakers. You have to have a legendary talent to do that, Michael, in any sport. Yes. All right, it's not Hall of Fame, it's beyond Hall of Fame. You know he's automatically Hall of Fame. But the main thing is, is that he's out there on the plateau. 20 years to sustain this type of achievement and this type of contribution year in and year out with the incredible injuries, especially over the last three seasons, has just been remarkable. Guarded by Hood, fouled, and he'll come to the line for three. It on the miss. They honestly thought that thing was going in. <laughs> well, that's that sweeping move, which we all know. Uh, under that defensive hand, which is out forward. As he comes to the line here for three, Hubie, third on the all. All NBA type of players with such admiration because they know how difficult it is to do 10 years, never mind 20 years in this business and operate at that level. Already more points than his final road game at Oklahoma City a couple of nights ago. Kobe has 14, 15, excuse me, scored 13 at OKC the other night. Three-point field goal knocked down by Chris Johnson, the fourth-year man from Dayton. As Utah will use the full bench here tonight. Johnson only averaging three points a game. Byron Scott said he let Kobe go the whole first quarter. He's now 5 of 12 from the field. Booker, Lyles, Neto, Ingles, and Johnson, the five on the floor. Bryant is called for the foul if you have not had an in an, an, an years service you have to do a, a terrific job especially when the number one defensive player your center misses almost a third of the season and then you were still able to hang in there and if you win tonight you'll finish the season 41 and 41. they're known for their defense and then unfortunately for them they've lost five games out of their last 10 because of the execution in the last three to four minutes. But it's a building block. Kobe, good look here at a three. One of the foul call. They didn't go two for one, so we'll have a chance to squeeze off a 14th shot here before the quarter's over. That's how on the baseline nice. drive. Well, if you keep your dribble against the Lakers, you're gonna get to the basket. There's no doubt about it. We've seen it here early on, time and time again. But that happens over the entire season. I agree for Chris Johnson, the 25-year-old from Dayton. Gets a chance to go one-on-one -on -one here with Kobe in his final game. Bryant the pitch, Russell the three. It's long, Black couldn't put it back. Oh, look up. Final seconds, Ingles could not reel it in, and that brings the first quarter to an end. Kobe scores another one of their greats to the court for one final time. that he's going to be throwing them out. 
So what do you tell your guys on how to defend him? Well, the biggest thing is just not to foul him. You know, if he's going to make shots, he's going to make shots. He's, he's done that for a long time, but uh, don't want to put him on the line. All right, thanks so much for your time. Mike, back to you. All right, Lisa, thank you. Larry Nance Jr. with the note ties the game at 21. Hubie Quinn Snyder was an assistant coach with the Lakers yes. in 2012. He was the head coach at Missouri, of course, played for Coach K as Chris Johnson goes inside on the drive and scores. And uh, you like, I know we, we talked on the phone, actually, after the Cleveland-Utah game. You like what Quinn Snyder's been able to do with this Utah team, the youngest in the league this year. Well, he's been able to be an assistant coach with a number of excellent NBA head coaches. Then the fact that he did such an outstanding job at the University of Missouri, Right? So we know that he knows the game, yes. and he's an excellent teacher. And when you have a young team, that's the basis if you're going to move forward. Already now in the second year, here he has them, and they're at, if they win tonight, 41 and 41. That's what you're looking for, progression. But then, well, what, what, what's, what's your image? Well, everyone knows they're very tough defensively. They get after you, and then they run a meticulous half-court offense, and they get their best guys high percentage shots. That's what coaching is all about. They are second in points allowed per game. San Antonio's number one. Now, they play a lower pace. So you look yes. at their efficiency. Their defensive efficiency is still very good. Well, what this team doesn't have is a guy to clear out, go get a big bucket when you need it. Uh, Gordon Hayward has developed into a leading player here, averaging nearly 20 a game. Rodney Hood has come along here later on. Trey Lyles, who just missed that shot, has stepped up here as a rookie, scoring six points, three and a half rebounds. So the future is very bright for this Utah team. Julius Randle on the miss. Johnson, the rebound. Hubie, you mentioned the coaches Snyder's worked with, our colleague Doug Collins, Mike Brown, Tori Messina, the outstanding Italian coach who's been an assistant with Greg Popovich the last couple of years, Larry Brown, of course, Coach K at Duke. It's a pretty impressive list. Well, he, he ran the D-League team for the San Antonio Spurs, That's right. you know, for four years. So every place that him and also their management is doing a good job putting together a talent base that plays his style of basketball. So Mike, the great ones, which they don't have, are the guys who can create off the dribble when the clock is at five and there's nothing going on. They don't have that, and you're right. Where is the lob, and the finish by Jordan Clarkson, and it's 26-25. Kobe Bryant played the entire first quarter. See his stats there. As long as he continues to feel well, likely to see him halfway through the second. Now, Huertas is an excellent backup point guard. Now, he he's throwing two beautiful lob passes to big men. We're not getting any shots. I mean, you know, Kobe. Nobody else is going to get yeah. shots tonight. This Kobe, is Kobe kicked up 13 there. You'll be at the, the that, first it, quarter. It's, it's, it's not going to be one where you are looking for your shots this evening. Lyles missed the three. Nance on the rebound. This Laker team is trying to find what pieces will they build upon going forward. They have a ton of cap room next year. The Bryant contract comes off the books. The cap goes up. Limited number of players under contract. They feel Clarkson backed up last year in all-rookie season with a good performance this year, averaging 15 and a half a game. D'Angelo Russell struggled on the floor, leadership in the locker room, turning 20 years old. But Russell did show signs the latter portion of the season that he could be a good NBA player, the number two overall pick. When you look at that group, Mike, Clarkson's 23, Russell's 20, and then Randall, who is one of the better rebounders. There are only 10 guys averaged over 10 rebounds a game, and Randall was one of them this season. He's only 20, 21. So the three key guys are very young. Foul given. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Well, you know, I mean, no player's been with the same team for 20 years before, so, you know, he's really one of the great players you'll ever see play the game. No doubt about that. Everybody knows it. Competitive winner. Love watching him. Your favorite moment from courtside watching Kobe? Don't have a real favorite, but I like seeing him jump up on the bench when he's won a championship. Whatever he's happy, we're happy. But he's had some great games here. Unfortunately, I missed the 80-point game. I let my daughter come, and I didn't see it. One of the very few games. Well, you can't win them all. You said you've had these courtside seats since 1972. 
Since 1972, you've been sitting here. By himself, I mean, I've seen him throw so many jump shots in here with three people hanging on his arms. It's a joke. You know, I mean, nobody can handle the ball like this. 20 years later, the five championships, the MVP, the finals MVP. Did you see this? Did you see all that in that kid? Well, that would be a little dense to see all that at once. <laughs> but I'll tell you what I did see the first time I saw him. He dribbled the ball in front of him, rolled it over his head, kicked it with his foot, and then dribbled it between his legs. That's the first Kobe Bryant play I ever saw. Fan he's been over the years. He'd been, you knew when you were coaching as a visitor against the Lakers, Jack would sit there and engage in conversation oh, with no, players. No, no, he, he would question you sometime about what you were doing. <laughs> and, uh, I, and I'll never forget it. That the Lakers had a long winning streak. I'm coaching in Atlanta. I have three Rollins who's the leading shot blocker in the league five straight sure. years. So they're up 16 in the first quarter. So my second unit goes in. Tree gets his first foul, gets his second foul, gets his third. All, all of a sudden, I, I, I'm i walking past him, okay? <laughs> so next thing I know, we're up like 12 or 14 at the halftime. I'm walking by him, and he goes, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's too good. What a treat. No, he talks to you all the time. And the Loves lady, the game. He really the game. knows the game. Yeah. He exactly. talks it, but he talks it at a high level. You saw Kobe came to the scorer's table. Fans react. Jazz leading here by four. Back with the shot clock dwindling. It's an air ball. Shot clock violation. And here comes Kobe back in the game. And second to Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Four times he won the All-Star MVP tied for the most in league history. Bryant took 13 shots in that first quarter. Gordon Hayward closes out on him. Here's number 14. And rebounded by with it. Hayward in the run by Booker. Runs the floor. It's the energy guy. Quinn Snyder wants to keep coming off the bench. Gives them such a jump. Well, you can see any time that they push the ball hard, Mike, they get an uncontested layup at the other end. And that's one of the biggest problems with the Lakers through this entire season, their transition execution. Randall, no. Clarkson follows and flushes it down. I, I really like Clarkson. Whether you want to say he, he, a starter for a playoff team, but a definite solid backup on an excellent playoff team that, that's going to the maybe third or fourth round. With he got fouled and he'll have a chance for a three-point play. So for this farewell, saw him on Sports Center this morning and in those videos you saw Shaq has said could have last night uh, with the guys in the studio on TNT it's such it's such a great debate conversation of uh, Laker legends there are so many over the years as Brian driving is fouled getting along uh, it's just great to see on Kobe's farewell night there's uh, one of the greats in his own right Hall of Famer Shaquille O'Neal courtside well you know Brian on the drive nice yeah, Any time he's gone to basket tonight, Mike, he's, he's been able to blow right by the defender. So like all time, and then get a good percentage shot. But anybody in this organization, they'll tell you that if they stayed together, they really had a, a solid chance of winning six or seven championships. And we all, no one would disprove that, mainly because the supporting cast was excellent, yes. along with Kobe and Jack. Teammates for eight years. Four finals, three titles. In that era, Shaq was 30 and 15. Kobe will come to the line as he have a moment ago. Well, this is he at his best. See, he, he'll he'll wear you out with the ball fakes, and then once he makes his move, he, he'll take advantage of the rotation people. If you're not there quick enough, he's going to go up on top of you. If you're there quick, he'll come up under the other end. The big thing when you were coaching against them. Kobe in anywhere from 8 to 12, 14 times. Well, once the Achilles came, all right, in 2013, right. naturally we have not been able to see that explosion. That's why he's become more of a jump shooter from, from distance. Bryant has 18 of the Los Angeles 34. Jazz lead by six. Shelvin Mack guarded by D'Angelo Russell. It's inside, got fouled by Russell. And the fifth man right. rope. I saw the minutes there. That was the stretch where he was playing so much. As a matter of fact, he had not come out of that game where he injured his Achilles against Golden State up until that point. And then when he tore the Achilles, the Lakers took timeout, and Kobe shuffled to the bench, shuffled back out, shot and made both fourth quarter free throws to tie the game. 
And then the Lakers gave a foul and Kobe came out. Here he is for three. Nice. That was a dagger. That's the old Kobe. That ball fake, shed that defender, stepped underneath in his comfort zone. He might score 40 tonight. He's got 21 points. It's Gordon Hayward. He responds with a three of his own. He's made 100. It's a great, great part, ending. Part of the reason he, he came back to shoot the free throws, he fully believed that he was going to find a way to get back in the game. <laughs> and you've got to shoot your free throws. Once you're fouled, if, if somebody else comes in and shoots them, you can't come back unless it's a, a flagrant or intentional foul at that time. He was in full belief that he was going to be able to come in back in the game at some point. Well, all the players in the league at that time, especially the guys from both teams on the floor, they were in shock that he actually walked after yes. shooting the two foul shots all the way to high pain threshold. There's been nobody like this guy. He's been able to execute at all Hall of Fame level under incredible. There, Snoop was looking for Hubie. He wanted to take a selfie with Hubie. Uh, who else just came through? Gary Payton just walked by. Baron Davis sitting down there. Flea for the Red Hot Chili Peppers with the anthem. All here to see the Kobe farewell. Bryant for three. He's got 21 points on seven of 18 shooting. Two of nine on the three ball. Utah Jazz had hoped that they would be playing for a chance to get themselves into the playoffs tonight. Some tough losses down the stretch as Trey Lyles scores that. Monday night, they lost to Dallas. But Hubie, games against the best teams in the West, they were so close to winning in the last couple of weeks and couldn't close. Mike, they lost three games. Golden State, San Antonio, and the Clippers. Two in overtime, and the other one by two points to San Antonio. So you know that this young club, what, you know, they were coming close, but they just don't have that one closer that can get you to call. It's the old story. Do you have a guy that can get you the non-call? And that's very important for young teams. Lyles able to clean up that Booker missed layup, and the Jazz all of a sudden have taken this lead out to 15, their largest of the night. Bryant working on Johnson inside, had it knocked away. Kobe's got it back, and Trey Lyles, the rookie, gets his shot at the 20-year veteran. Lyles can say at some point in his career, I shut down Kobe Bryant. So earlier, just a sampling of this star-studded crowd tonight. D'Angelo Russell inside with the basket. His first points of the evening. Really, the atmosphere outside. Did some live shots for Sports Center. walked around the Staples Center. It felt like a playoff atmosphere. Laker fans have not been able to celebrate their team for so long. Kobe oh, behind the back, Russell. Nice. Between the legs, Randall. All right. What a run. Lyles. Kobe chasing it down. Couldn't get to it. Max got Booker for two. Hey, that's why they... You can't relax with these kids. These kids hustle all over the floor. Uh, like, I, I just can't say it enough. Well-coached team. They play together. A ton of chemistry. Right inside. We'll get to the free throw line, trying to get to 23 points. Stage deal. Jalen Rose, Doug Collins. will be talking about the stories here in California tonight. Well, hockey assist for Kobe. Russell gets the real assist. I always said that when you coach against Kobe, you got to try to cut down the catch goal, whether you play one-on-one -on -one or even trap him. Then if he shoots and he misses, he's a bear on the offensive glass. Then if you foul him, he was an 84, 85% foul shooter, and he was getting to the line, like we said early, you know, 8 to 12 to 14 times a night. And that's where we'd pick up all of those extra points. Sheldon Mack on the drive, able to collect it. Get the foul on Russell. Well, in the, in the final finals, four, yep. yeah, Duke. you know, for Butler. And then all of a sudden he comes into pros and he just couldn't find his near. He moves two guys out of the way, becomes a starting guard, giving you 13 a game. And you can see just in his first half what this guy's all about. He is a tough guy, a tough defender, strong off the dribble, can finish, can make the three. Uh, it was really a very smart move by their management. Shot clock is off. Fans slowly come to their feet at Staples as Kobe closes down the half. Hesitates on Hayward. The patented Bryant fadeaway would not go down in the first ball in the great Hall of Fame career of Kobe Bryant.
On the other side of the break, Sage Steele. Doug Collins, Jalen Rose standing by across the street. You're going to see early on, this is just a great crossover, and he goes in and scores in the track. Now, this one you really like. That's the old patented, I'm going to pull up mid-range game. Now, here he reads the defense perfectly. He looked like a young Colt on that move right there. Now, this one, all right, little ball fake. I fade back. I hit the fade away. We saw him do that so many times. Now, this one, that was a bobble catch. And behind the three-point line, still able to put it in. This one, right in your face. I'm going strong to the rim. Now, here, nice ball fake. Step in into my favorite spot behind the three-point line. Now, you look at it, seven for 20. He Marion. Parents saw Kobe Beef on a menu and said that'd be a pretty good first name for a son. And thus we have the uh, one name that will Kobe, very fluent in Italian, really had a love for the game. His grandfather would send videotapes over to Italy as Russell hits the first shot of the second half. So Kobe could watch, study the NBA, and of course his time around his dad as well. And they'd come back in the summer, so you go to the basketball camps. That's where the love of the game and this uh, great career was born. Born in Philly, so much time in Italy, and as a teenager on through his 30s here, he has been a star in the land of stars. Rodney Hood hits the basket, and Utah maintains that 15-point lead. Mike, I really like his talent. Uh, he's going to be a star player, mainly because he can get his good shot. He's a three-point shooter, excellent, and his mid-range game is outstanding. Trey Lyles on the board. Marks it. Good hustle back defensively. Defensive team. Mike, he was on the All-NBA team 15 times. That's the most of any player ever. 11 times first team, two times second, two times third. Dean, then comes the Hall of Fame. Well, nine times first team All-Defense, 12 times All-Defense. Now, when you think about it, and then you tie in the injuries that he had with the Achilles, the knee where he went to Germany for the blood trench, mm -hmm. you know, the circulation of the blood, then the elbow, all right, then oh. the bad <laughs> finger, and then the shoulder. It's just absolutely amazing that he could sustain that type of play for such a long period of time. 15 out of 20 years, all NBA. Incredible. Amazing. He's amazing. got 24 after that last hoop. After the Hayward miss, Julius Randle leads it the other way. Kobe off the wing. Hayward staying right with him. Bryant scores anyway. And you see, remember what Jack said when Lisa interviewed him about his dribbling ability? Yes. He just showed it to you that after 20, he's still got it. And I've got the bad shoulder, but not tonight. <laughs> Beautiful. Miles, no. Bryant corrals the rebound. His third of this farewell evening. Fans start to stand when he gets some space. Couldn't oh. get the roll on the three, but he's going to have another shot at it. <laughs> to the basket, Kobe. They wanted a dunk. They're up and out of them anyway. Six points in 53 seconds. Now, that's just Kobe at his best. Gave you the crossover and then came in and switched hand. This one, that was his patented move. The fade away in your face, going away. And this one, I'm just going strong tonight it's pretty amazing there three titles in number eight two and number 24 Some people have uh, speculated which number will be retired Gordon Hayward off on that three whatever that decision it will join the other Laker great numbers up in the corner of the Staples Center like Weston Chamberlain Baylor and Abdul-Jabbar Shaq Magic James Worthy Gail Goodrich Silk Jamal Wilkes not a, not a bad group. It's Mike. unbelievable, not right? A, <laughs> just keep rolling on yeah. and on. And that microphone retired for Chick. Kobe! Oh! Oh, it would have brought the house down. Looking for yet one more 30-point game. Two points away. Comes down to Lyles of Utah. Jazz lead was 15. It's down to nine. About four and a half gone here in this third quarter. Final night of the NBA regular season over on ESPN. Golden State working their way to a record 73rd win. This will be a charge called. Remember, that record stood for 20 years. 20. Before that, it 
stood for 24 years, and it was the 72 Lakers, that 69 win team of many of the guys I just mentioned. Wilt, Gail Goodrich, Jerry West, Pat Riley, the team that had a 33 consecutive game win streak. They'll be coming baseline. Withy there to stop him. It's out of bounds off Bryant. Fans wanted the foul there. You can celebrate two decades of excellence with Kobe Bryant jerseys, tees, and more available at NBAStore.com. Phil Jackson would have been happy they just ran a little bit of the triangle. <laughs> <laughs> Julius Randle on the rebound. So much a part of the Bryant legacy, the time with Phil. Playing it out here tonight. He's working. working I mean, hard. He's working very, very hard. And they're playing him tough. They're not giving him any gimme, gimmies to the rim. Hayward from the top, not down three, Gordon Hayward. Now he's got a nice game. But like we say, he's their main guy. He only gets you 20. But the old story, can you get us something with four to five seconds on the shot clock off the dribble? And once they get that within their team, they're really going to be a handful. D'Angelo Russell misses. For the Lakers, who are lucky enough to get the ball kicked out to them, it's the most open shots they'll ever have here tonight. Kobe comes up with the steal. I want to tell you. In the backcourt. He, he and, just and, flashed. He yeah. flashed right by it. I was like, who was that? And it was, it was Kobe going for the steal. Now, he's not cheating anyone tonight. I mean, he is really trying hard on every possession at both ends. Double comes. Nice. Find of Russell. Late clock. Somebody's got to shoot. Kobe will. Air ball. Shot clock violation. They're probably 32. Byron, so I'd love to play you 36. If you feel like you can do it, play a whole first and third quarter and bring you back halfway through the second and fourth. And looks like that may be the plan tonight. We'll see how much longer Kobe goes here in this third. Hayward has it taken away by Randall and nice Clarkson's ahead of the field. Whoa! Now he's got some hops. You're talking about an athlete. He's an excellent athlete. 6'4", out of Missouri. Uh, second round, a guy came in here last year, won the starting point guard, and then made, you got to give him credit on, he's backed it up with another solid year. Mm. Now right there, he, uh, he he almost hit that. You better make it. Oh. You know, there, there are those big smiles on the, on, the, on the bench when those happen. Clarkson's showing off here in this final game. Who are going to be the Laker leaders of the future as this team goes to the post-Kobe era after tonight? Big offseason for the Lakers. Bryant on the drive to the basket, hangs and scores. There you go. Right, that, that's how I'll, I'll, I'll go with the amount of shots that he's scoring in spurts. 29 shots, 30 points for Kobe. And on the turnover, Johnson gives the foul. And I wonder if they have to come look and see if it's a clear path foul or not. Now just watch. Yep. Uh, he's really working here, okay? Now, this is I'm coming down in. I still have to get by the shot blocker. Played the glass. Gets a, a little bit of a... If he felt he made the right call, he would tell you, always have the utmost respect. He told that to Steve Ashburn, a terrific journalist for the NBA.com. Kobe baseline over Neto has 32. Great all-time baseball umpires and his brother Jerry. The same. You're talking about guys who, uh, you know, were, were very big in their professions, Joey in basketball, and then the other two in Major League Baseball for years. Absolutely. Hayward attacks the rim. Couldn't throw it down. The Lakers have cut this to six. Bryant has most of the points. That lob by Huertas is thrown away. Hayward tries again this time and gets the end one. Now, I like the way he played, but to get the contact. Now, this is just great. Now, just watch how he does. He'll turn the body, so and he still could get off a strong move off the glass. Now, this is Kobe going on his right here, up in traffic, off the glass, boom. Marac. Hayward at the line doesn't complete the three-point play. So, Kobe has a 30-point game here, Hubie. That is the 431st out of his 1,346 games, so just under a third. Hits the three! 35 on the farewell night for Kobe. Putting on a show one last time.
Do you laughed at me when I said I was shaving the other morning and I thought he was going to get 50. I did. <laughs> and then I said, I don't know if he could get up that many shots. Well, he might. He can. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to review that Brian three at the next whistle. Oh, he's tired. There's no doubt about it. You can see it right now. He's walking slowly. But watch when he gets the ball, how he, he goes quickly shifting gears. Oh, pretty move. Russell with the end one. It's all good over Ingles. It'll be a three. And once he created the space, he just elevated up a lot of the three-point line. That's that's a tough angle. Kobe, one of the 16 players in NBA history, have multiple 30-point games after their 37th birthday. Kareem and Michael among them. He had 35 in Houston on Sunday, 38 against Minnesota earlier this year as a foul's called. Has continued his quest and has hit eight three-pointers. He will have playoff coverage starting Sunday with a triple header in NBA TV next week. It's set in the East, Cleveland, Detroit, Toronto, Indiana, Miami, Charlotte, and Atlanta, Boston, the four opening series. One matchup set. One more to be set, I should say, here in the West. Two are locked. One more game to decide. Kobe is now 3 of 15, shooting the three ball here tonight. Trey Lyles has it stripped. Booker has finished the target. Black has the board for L.A. Huertas. Oh, nice. Booker missed the jam, but got fouled. Two thirds, and it started for another all all time Dodger and great in sports <clears throat> last night. They uh, named a street outside of the stadium as 1000 Vince Scully Avenue, and uh, the great Al Michaels was there, and they welcomed so many great Dodgers of the past to hand the ceremonial first pitch ball down to Vinny. It was just a wonderful as Russell hits. To tighten this back up to a four-point game. It was just Dodger greatness, L.A. sports greatness. Guys like Maury Wills, Oral Hershiser, all the way to Grinky, the current stars on the field. It was just a, a Kershaw, I should say. It was just a treat to see. Ingles hits the three. Kobe <laughs> trying to close. Ingles is not shy. He, he started yapping with Dirk Nowitzki in the game the other night. When I was a uh, grammar school boy, yes, we had the Giants, the Yankees, and the Dodgers. And then when Vinny came... The words just flow out of his mouth, and he just, he paints the picture so perfectly. You could be lying in bed, and you could yes. just see exactly what is happening. It's the I, best. Isn't it? It's the best. And he doesn't force the thing. It just rolls out. Mack off the window for two, makes the nine-point game. We mentioned Chick Hearn, the late great Hall of Fame announcer for the Lakers. Bob Miller, the Kings, they've had so many great announcers for the local teams here in Los Angeles over the years. Gun topping Vin. Farewell season this year. The steal and Neto. Manager, you know, for quite a while. I really, really was very instrumental on who was coming here. Going to the basket. 37. See, we left, but I'm telling you, I think he had the same dream I had. Okay? <laughs> and I, I gotta let everybody in on your story. I think he's going for 50. I don't know why, but that's how I feel. I gotta let everybody in your story. We're sitting in Byron Scott's <laughs> office before the game, and we're talking about it, how much you're gonna play Kobe, et cetera, et cetera. And you said, I gotta tell you, I was shaving the other day, and for whatever reason, I said, I think Kobe might get 50. Well, you. I might come to you for lottery numbers you think of when you're shaving <laughs> if this happens. Don't I wish. <laughs> 25 seconds left. Brian uh, moving screen. It was a, you know, a moving forearm. Right, it was. You know, <laughs> nice move by Kobe down inside. You got to admit it now. They're very nice job in the paint. 1.3 the difference the game of the shot clock inside the dunk for Withy. Leaves Kobe time to get a shot off here. It'll be three. Halfway down. He a wave off. He gave him a wave off. Competitor to the very end. 37 points. Michael scored 15 in his final game. Kobe's trying to get to 50. After three here in L.A., the Jazz lead on Kobe's farewell night.
the game is close and we got a chance to win it, then obviously I'm going to leave him in there. All right. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Well, Lisa, thank you. So changing the plan here a bit, you can see the interaction with some folks sitting in the first row with Joe Ingles of the Jazz. Kobe is certainly enjoying everything that's been a part of this evening. No uh, sadness of emotion thus far. Mac hits the outside shot, and Hubie extends the Utah lead to 11 to start this fourth quarter. Mike, I just want to say this about Kobe. He's 11 for 18 in two-point range. Now, that's, that's a heck of a stack. Unfortunately, he's three for 16 in the three ball. That's what I've been saying. Anytime he goes down in the paint, something good happens. Now three for 17. Nance cleaned it up. And Larry Nance Jr. with the basket. The lefty Aussie Ingles hits the three. He's second year in the league. He's 29 years old. His wife's a world champion netball player. For those of you who are big netball fans watching us in Australia, you say that kind of tongue-in-cheek, but there are many people watching this broadcast around the world live here tonight the international impact of kobe mac netta this is young legs and a team that defends they make things happen quickly they beat you in transition but lyles lyles from kentucky mm -hmm. and then when you you add Ingles, these are two guys who can score the ball off the bench normally. Kobe for the moves to lose Ingles there, missed the shot. Mack back the other way, guarded by D'Angelo Russell. Sorry, black to rebound LA. Yeah, it, you know, it's like a summer league game here, we know that. But but Whitby has really Ooh, done a nice job. He has. Bear, go Bear is there, and then they have favor. And then they'll bring in other guys, and then all of a sudden, this guy never plays. You know, I mean, he's only played 50 games all year long, but you just like the talent that they have sitting on the bench. They've got another 70. Tibor Police, who has uh, played only 12 games, been a good part of the season in the D League with Idaho, but part of the German national That's team, right. played at FC Barcelona. With he has it taken away by Nance. Come on now, you gotta get a score here. Huertas is seeking Kobe for three. Yes. The 122nd time for the first time since November of 2014. Kobe going out in style. It's NBA Friday presented by State Farm. And Kobe Bryant has given us so much great theater and so many incredible moments during his 20-year career. And he's closing in on the most points ever scored by a player in his final NBA game. It's a remarkable final performance here by Bryant. Miles from the outside connects. Now, as you see, scoring 40 points against every team in the league, Bryant has done that. One of two players, Bob Pettit being the other, obviously the size of the league impacting that. Jordan didn't do it against the Bulls. Bryant here. It's another three! Oh. Alley for Kobe Bryant. Ingles. Kobe Bryant, third all time in NBA history, 24 50 point games. Watched by the Aussie, Ingles, Bryant, a three. Miles gets the rebound. 8.20 to go, Bryant has not set in this second half. Set for half the second quarter, that's it. Shot clock at three for Mack. Guarded by Bryant. Well, he's got the board, the hit ahead to Clarkson. Lakers back within seven, by yeah, the way. The faithful are feeling maybe he'll get a 50 and we'll get a W. <laughs> oh, pretty move. Yeah, it was Lyles pass. Bet at the summit. Tarek Black turns away Rodney Hood. Clarkson the lob. Nice. Oh, boy. Above the rim. Now just watch the block by Grant. This is great. Off of a beautiful backdoor move. Now watch how high up Nance is to bring that baby home. Just like Woo. his daddy did.
Kobe's taken more shots, Hubie, than anyone has taken in an NBA game this year with the 40 attempts. Hey, nobody cares, Mike. <laughs> nobody cares. <laughs> I, there's not one person in there saying, Kobe, pass. <laughs> Hayward chased off the line. Shot clock at two. Three is yeah, short. Yeah. Randall the rebound. Knows every possession the fans rise to stand on their feet, wanting to see Kobe take another shot. Hayward back in, so he's the primary defender. Bryant going to the basket, lost the dribble, got fouled. They got seven and a half more minutes in that body of yours. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> there you get the answer. It's going to happen the rest of the game. Lyles and Net. Hello, Huertas, the point guard. Working with Julius Randle, Jordan Clarkson, Larry Nance Jr. All trying to get Kobe more shots and get him to 50 on his farewell night. Double comes. Pitch to Clarkson. Late shot clock. Clarkson. Nice. Got it. Nice. That's why I like this talent. Because he can make the three. He's got a nice mid-range game. And he drives strong to the rim. Third assist of the night for Bryant. Neto. Got it to go. And Neto's got a nice game, Mike. Kind of solid. When you think of these guys from Brazil, we have 100 international players in the league. We have nine players from Brazil this year. I think that would surprise a lot of people. 45. He's got a shot there. <laughs> Hayward to the basket, beautiful right. finish nice by Gordon Hayward. Nice Leading score on this Utah team this season. This is, a big, this is a big game for the guys who are out there from Utah. They want to be 41 and 41. They don't want to be 40 and 42. Here's Bryant for 47. Just that rebound by Jeff Withy. Kobe last scored 50 on one of the more famous Kobe Knights when he put up 61 at the Garden. Setting the building record in New York back in 2009. 45 to go. Utah and D'Angelo Russell for the Lakers. All night long, every time that he gets down in the painted area. 5 of 20 from 3. You saw the score by quarter for Bryant. Foul on Chris Johnson trying to fight through that. His honor go outside Staples Center next year. Kobe putting on the move. It's the side of the rim. They got two dudes. Two the side of the backcourt, I should say. Didn't hit the rim on shot 24. Hayward with a hoop. What are you doing? What are you Lakers doing? Turn it over. What kind of a pass is that? Down the middle of the floor, there's nobody. I mean, come on. But can, can you still have a chance to win this game? It's a pass coach made by a 16 and 65 team. They've done way too much of that this year. That one wasn't good either. No, I'll tell you Clarkson what, on the push. Here goes Kobe to the basket. Oh, no, no. Lyles tries to squeeze it. Johnson has it. Hayward has Booker. Ooh. Stars of the NBA. A who's who of Hollywood stars. And the last one was Kobe's wife and two daughters, and he was saying thank you to them for what they said in that video tribute. Russell on the miss, and he commits the foul on Mack with Gianna just ending up uh, grade school. So Not many of the ten. players, Mike, that when they were interviewed, that have played with them way back through the years, all they talk about is the fact of the pain pressure. That how many times, even line, but yet every night there he was. Have all the action plus like one of the hockey playoffs as well and we should mention big brother is what uh, Byron Scott has referred to him as he and Kobe have a very special unique bond Brian gets to the basket and oh, has 47 points when you have a good trainer the players know that he'll get them back quickly that he can take care of their medical problems but more important he, they become Trust with him. Confident. And, and that's right. All of a sudden now, he can help them with their life's problems away from basketball. They are the unsung heroes of every professional basketball team. It's just amazing when you have a job 
that starts early in the morning and ends late at night. Kobe, three shy of 50, looking for that triple here. Guarded by Hayward. Gets to the free throw line, to the basket. Kobe oh. is fouled. He'll come to the just a, He needed a little wind to blow that in, all right? To go for the old-fashioned three. We'll let you listen to the crowd here at Staples as Kobe comes to the line, perhaps for the last time. Kobe Bryant, a point away from his 25th 50-point game, third in NBA history behind Wilt Chamberlain's 118, Michael Jordan's 31. Lakers down eight, two minutes to go. Jordan Hayward sizing up Larry Nance, got to the basket, had it knocked away in the hands of Kobe. We'll see if he gets 50 here. Bryant going to the basket. Kobe yes. Bryant! Eric Couldn't hear the whistle. It is a six-point game. So the Lakers are in this one, down the stretch. And there it is, the first player to end his career with a 50-point game. Final minute 30. Bryant from 14. Has 50. But the people are smelling a W. Four-point game. <laughs> oh, you're right. It's been great. The people are incredible right now because the man is at the top of his game right now. Hayward, no. Nance the rebound. Kobe's got the Lakers' last check. Bryant, 4 3. Go! Oh! oh! Up! Every last bit of him being left out here tonight. He scored the Lakers' last 13. He has 50. Six points. The stamina tonight. The fact that he's been working so hard from half court to the rim on so many drives. The fact that he is still, look at the family. To have a great game was incredible here this evening. When they told him that only 10 million people are watching the game tonight in China. I know. Never mind the other 216 countries. Mack is off of the three rebound by Russell. Here they have a chance. <laughs> the Lakers down one. Will Kobe give them one last gamer? Bryant on the move with the jumper. He oh, got it. My. He has been great. And on his final night, it's one last glimpse. Orleans in Detroit on a Sunday night in February on the final night of his brilliance. Hall of Fame 20 year career. Kobe Bryant's one shy of that. He has 58. That jumper giving the Lakers the. Just think of it, he's scored 36 points in this half. Trey Lyles. Out of the corner of the rookie, Lyles. Gets to the basket. His layup's no good. Fight for the rebound. It's in the hands of the Lakers. They get it to Kobe. Again, Utah has no timeout, so they have to foul. And Bryant will come to the... Put a seal. You don't get the seal. You got to foul quickly. Now he will come to the line for... <laughs> 60. Utah will go up the floor with Hayward. 13 seconds left. Hayward on the drive. Layup no good. Rebound gets in the hands of Kobe. Throws it ahead to Clarkson. And Clarkson will dunk it. 4.1 to go, timeout Utah.